Hey everyone, welcome back to the State of the Web. This week we have Jess Lee and Ben Halpern, two of the co-founders of Dev2. They're going to tell us about their developer community and what they've observed about the state of web development. Let's get started. All right, Jess and Ben, thank you both for being here. So I want to ask you first, what is Dev2 and how did it all get started? Yeah, so um, a couple years ago, Ben started a Twitter account called The Practical Dev, and he used it as a place to just share his like programming woes, you know, um, but also a lot of helpful resources that he found across the internet. Um, and through there, he developed um, lots of really great relationships and realized that there was a really beautiful community on Twitter. Um, people who want to just talk about um, you know, the news in, in software development and their perspectives, but didn't necessarily um, like feel like they had a community where they could do that. Um, and so Ben started Dev2, where he could blog about daily life of being a developer, um, share resources, and people started asking if they could um, blog with him. And that's really how Dev2 was born. And now um, lots of other, you know, like it's, it's a community full of developers publishing um, and just like connecting with one another on, on web development. Anywhere from, you know, like career stuff, like you know, interview questions to really deep dives into certain tutorials on, uh, you know, technologies that only a few people would know about. Yeah, that's super well put. Uh, the community is really broad and ranging and there's just so much we thought we could do with our own platform. There's people creating their own programming languages, but also people just kind of starting with HTML for the first time. It's really a broad ecosystem, and uh, it's really, really exciting to kind of go to work every day and try to make it better. So what sets Dev2 apart from other developer communities, and how does that play into the name itself, Dev2? Um, you can think of Dev2 like Dev Together. Um, we also um, loved having Dev as the URL um, because you can, like, if you want to find my 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 profile on Dev2, you just go to like Dev2 slash Jess. So it's really about like the developer. Um, and as for how we're different from other communities, I joined this community, like joined the software developer community as a whole, um, through by way of like being self-taught and through boot camp. So I didn't really have um, a traditional background or a computer science degree. Um, and it was very isolating. And also as like you know, a woman in tech, I was, in a, I was a minority, and um, also a person of color. Um, and I just didn't feel like there was an existing community that was like really welcoming, that I could find like other faces that looked like me. Um, so that's like one reason. But also, um, a lot of, there's like lots of useful software developer communities out there from like question and answer sites to places where you can really talk about projects and um, different apps. But there wasn't a place where you could just talk about everything related to web development. Um, like, you know, you can ask uh, questions to the community that are really specific, but then you can also ask like, you know, general trend questions. And there really wasn't a place where both those types of content lived. Mm -hmm. I've also heard you describe it as a meetup or like a conference. What does that mean? Yeah, we try to really sort of mimic the awesomeness that happens sort of when software developers come together, when they, uh, when they meet, when they sort of have off the cuff discussions. Uh, it's really sort of, you know, people gather, there's flies on the walls, there's discussions that happen, there's a lot of illuminating ideas that happen. Uh, we really think, when we think about our, our product and our community and our platform, we really think of that as our sort of metaphor. Like, uh, if we were going to have a conference that kind of went on forever and people could really kind of share ideas, meeting in the hallways, like presentations, and also respect one another as if they were sort of in the same room together, uh, we really sort of think of these ideas as like guiding lights for like all these ideas have um, been around forever. They just haven't really existed very neatly on, on the web and not on these sort of platforms. Yeah, if you think about web, like in the early days, uh, there's a lot of anonymity and people um, are, are, you know, can become more passionate about cer certain subjects when they can be anonymous. Um, and so on Dev2, we really encourage people like, when you're commenting on a post, like really think about like, would you say this to somebody after they spoke at a, at a conference? Like, you know, is this how you would engage with them? And that's the attitude that we want people to take when um, engaging with one another. So you run a community for web developers, but of course you are web developers yourselves. How has being a part of this community helped you grow as web developers? And at a, at a meta level, how has that helped Dev2 website itself? It's helped me grow a whole lot, um, especially as somebody who came from a boot camp. Um, I, it's amazing. I wrote this article about just 
how lucky I am to get to like dog food every single day、um, because I'm just like learning as I go, and my product literally informs like how I work. Yeah, I don't. I don't think anyone uses and benefits from the platform in development as much as we do because we really sort of like we really know how to sort of make use of it, how to really foster the right discussions. I mean, just today we had a、uh, we had a database issue、uh, with with Postgres, and we、uh, we went to the site to、uh, um, to kind of look for answers. And people actually、uh, they understood the context from which we were coming because we've talked about a lot of this stuff before. We sort of developed a canonical relationship with the people who might actually now have the answers for us.、Uh, it's been it's been really、uh, really fantastic. And in fact, that sort of little help feature,、uh, we talked about it for a while, and then I finally built it because I really needed help on something. <laughs> so、um, uh, it's really funny that way.、Uh, we we really come to work, and we can genuinely say that our team,、um, our our small team, there's just a handful of us,、uh, but we. We go to work really like feeling like we care about what we're building, which is just not easy to say if we were building,、um, you know, real estate insurance <laughs> software. <laughs> I've also seen you're planning to open source the code for your website. What's the significance of that?、Um, we think there's something really beautiful about community that can literally build itself,、um, and I actually feel like that helped us today because we've invited some early contributors into the repo,、um, and they've one already started making contributions, which is awesome, but.、Um, You know the people who are in in、uh, in our code base like just message us like immediately when they notice something was wrong and like we just have more eyes on the code now and that's really great. Yeah, yeah. Open source is just it's just wonderful and it's just great to be a part of. And we really know that the value of our community is in the humans. So if we want to, we don't want to hoard our code. We want to share it with everyone. And if if、uh, if they want to sort of build interesting things that fit their own sort of use cases that maybe just us as a small team we wouldn't ever get around to, but people really care about using this platform and this community. So we really think the opportunity there is is going to be really really fantastic, and we're just excited about like what could come of this, the like magical unknown. So the members on your community are constantly publishing new content.、Uh, what are some of the themes you're seeing developers discuss, and is there anything? Uh, that they are talking about more or like trending today. People love talking about Git. <laughs>、uh, it's like one of the most popular topics on the platform, probably because almost every developer、right. uses Git as version control.、Um, so that that's always like a ongoing popular topic. Yeah, and on the web development frontier specifically,、um, there's a lot of areas of like general sort of like peaked interest. Like anytime this topic comes up, people、uh, people really kind of want to know where where people are coming from. Uh, WebAssembly,、uh, progressive web apps.、Uh, people have a lot of opinions on things like accelerated mobile pages and just kind of the web API, how it's evolving, and how people are thinking about it. Because these are areas where like there's not always a yes or no answer. There's a like what are people thinking about this kind of answer,、um, and there's a lot of you know like does this bring more complication to my life or less complication?、Uh, is it worth learning all this new technology or or not? Like. Uh, it's sometimes not just the APIs where people have questions. It's the like, how should I even be thinking about this? And the web is so moves so quickly, but there's a lot of stuff you might not need to know. So you really need to kind of like keep your ear down and、um, and try to kind of keep up with what you should be learning. And and it's definitely、uh, people just definitely want to kind of keep up with some of these newer web technologies. So just what are some of the pain points that developers are experiencing? Like, what's causing the biggest headaches? I've seen a lot of articles around PWAs.、Um, I think there's、uh, a lot of clarity that needs to be、um, given surrounding service workers.、Um, different browsers are supporting it in different ways, and I think that's kind of a like a pretty big headache for people right now. So on the show, the state of the web, we like to look at big data about websites themselves that developers are building.、Um, but what's really interesting is that you've started a survey of the web developers, so now we can learn a lot about.、Uh, Them themselves. So, what are you finding in this data set? So,、um, we asked a huge range of like forty questions, and some of them include how well、um, a developer feels like they understand GDPR.、Um, uh, from there to what kind of frameworks do you have experience in? Yeah, and we asked a lot of questions about people's sort of opinions about which、uh, web technologies are moving faster than others, which are better understood, things like that. And、uh, so far, the information the the responses are really interesting, and we're seeing a lot of interesting correlations. Uh, but we probably shouldn't get into too many specifics, so we don't bias the answers too much. That's right. So the survey is still active, right? Where can people take that? 
Yeah, dev2 slash survey. Um, and it's, uh, it's about 40 questions, but we tried to make it streamlined enough. It should only take four or five minutes. And we'll learn uh, whether or not dog people prefer certain frameworks or whether or not cat people prefer certain frameworks. <laughs> <laughs> that will definitely open up to certain interesting correlational yeah. analysis. It's great to have this pulse on the developer community. I think it's so important for this feedback loop so where we can make developers' lives easier and, of course, improve the experiences of the users. Jess and Ben, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thanks so much, Rick. So if you'd like to join the Dev2 community, visit them at dev.2, and of course, take the survey at dev2 slash survey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.